Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to day two. It is super early this morning. Um, as you can tell, it's still dark out and got a bit of guiding light by the lighting of the shopping center, but just about to head into gym. Uh, it's about 20 past four in the morning, uh, but I wanted to get this punched out before I got into the gym because otherwise I'm going to run out of time and then I'll make excuses and then we'll probably go another year without recording a video. So um, I'm going to have to deal with the, the poor lighting. Uh, but what I'm going to do today is I want to read out a little bit of philosophy. Um, seems fitting considering these are called daily philosophy. But this one comes out of uh, a book called Love Yourself Into Life, uh, the magic book. So it's written by a person called Jay-Z Knight. Um, now, if you believe the stories, Jay-Z Knight uh, channels a 35,000-year-old being called Rantha or Entity or whatever you want to refer to Rantha as. Um, so Rantha lived 35,000 years ago on this planet, then actually transcended this, this realm and moved on to another dimension, I guess, is probably uh, the best way of putting it. So... Um, the, the, the thing that I love about, about Rantha, the Jay-Z Knight's writings and teachings is that they're very philosophical, um, but very, um, still very scientific in the way that they, they write, uh, which is beautiful, but then also um, very, very spiritually enlightened. And then that's the whole basis of Rantha is uh, essentially that, that you are God. You, you have the, the, the power of creation within you. And I think that's, a very beautiful sentiment, whether you believe in God or whether you believe in whatever the hell you want to believe in. Um, the, the, the teachings of Ramtha are very beautiful. And if you can, you know, if you're very shut off to God, uh, there's still a lot of beautiful lessons to be had uh, w w within the teachings. So, yeah, I think it's, I think it's beautiful. And the way that it's all articulated is beautiful as well. So I, I, I get a lot of inspiration from it. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna gonna read out some um, some script from from that book, and uh, I apologise. I am reading it from my phone, doubled the screen up, so hopefully it translates okay. But anyway, one way to find out. So it goes like this: <clears throat> Those who put their limitations upon man by saying that there is one road, there is one work. <laughs> I'll try again. <laughs> one take wonder. Those who put their limitations upon man by saying that there is one road, there is one road only, and you must get on this road. For if you don't, you will fall, you will fail. They're the ones that put the thought of failure in the divine soul of man. They are the ones that have invented the narrow road for the purpose of enslavement. It is quick to see that not all can fit on their road, for they have made it much too narrow. Failure is a reality to those who believe it is a reality. No one ever fails at life, ever. You have never failed in your life. You have always learned. Everything has taught you well. Failure is one of the grandest teachers of all, if acknowledged within your being. It teaches you that you are at the bands of your own thoughts and your own doings. In what is called a longer run, it also teaches you that you have lived in spite of your utter failure and that what has provided you the opportunity to experience failure has been life. Failure is a learning experience and the ultimate learning entity is that there is no such thing as failure for you have lived in spite of it all. That's it. That's the end of the writing. Um, I think that's so... So beautiful for the way that we do look at failure. You know, we, we, we perceive failure as this, this massively negative experience or, um, you know, just aspect of life. But, but failure is quite the opposite. It, it's, it's only a negative because we perceive it as a negative. Everything in this universe is neutral. Um, you know, it's just our perception of it that makes it necessarily good or bad. Um, so, 
if you're failing, you feel like you're failing, good job, because that's where the most beautiful lessons are had, and that's where the grandest of lessons will actually occur for you. So if you change your perception on, on failure, you will excel at life. Uh, so take failure in your stride, take it for what it is, which is the lesson. You know, you're not gonna be perfect at everything, so make sure of that when you do fail, you objectively look at, at why you failed, and remove your emotional attachment in of it because you know sometimes it hurts and sometimes it bloody sucks. Uh, but make sure you objectively look at it. You know, remove yourself from yourself and look at it from a third person and see where the lessons are and take from them what you like. But that's it. Nice brief one. Um, I will chat to you guys tomorrow, and I hope you all have a bloody spectacular day. <laughs> and. I will catch you on tomorrow and as always much love and namaste.